Under the term mangrove, we categorize a variety of plants from different genera and families, which are not closely related. We categorize them in one group because of the place where they are living, and that is tropical sea coasts. Due to this habitat, they share the same difficulties in their survival, which is salt water as the main water source and that thus exceeding amounts of salt in the plants or around, high level of evaporation, gas arm ground where they are rooting and thus a limited gas exchange through the roots and due to the soaked soft ground and instability of the ground which is increased by the movement of the water. To counteract the instability, some species grow only as low shrubs, but others can actually be many meter high trees, like the mang red mangroves. Though they have stilt roots in order to support them in the soft ground. In addition, the stilt roots carry breathing cells, pores through which gas exchange can happen. Those pores are called lenticels. The lenticels are also part of the pneumatophores of the black mangroves. Pneumatophores are root extensions which grow in the ground and then stick out of the ground often many meters or dozens of meters away from the mother plant. Those pneumatophores with the lenticels are used for gas exchange but also in order to stabilize the plant in the soft ground. Additionally the labyrinth of pneumatophores provides shelter and food to a variety of animals. So stilt roots and pneumatophores are mechanisms to deal with soft gas arm ground. But what about the exceeding amount of salt? Also here different mechanisms have evolved. Red mangroves have ultrafiltration mechanisms in their roots so that they only take up a tiny amount of the salt in the seawater. And the little salt they have too much, they deposit in old dying leaves. Black mangroves, in comparison, take up all the salt water from the sea, but then they transport it to the leaves and they ex expel the exceeding salt through specified pores so that all the leaves seem to be salt encrusted. All mangroves are flowering plants producing seeds within fruits. But the seeds are not released into the environment for distribution, but remain on the mother plant and develop, germinate there to become an embryo. Only the embryos are released from the plant, are dropped into the water for further distribution. Embryos are bigger than seeds and better equipped to be distributed in the salt water and to finally root somewhere in order to grow into a new mangrove plant. Mangroves are very important along tropical coasts in order to protect the coasts against tides, against storms and against erosion. Additionally, they are important as kindergartens for many animals, not only within the water but also for insects and birds, which have their habitats in the crown in the dense shrub of the mangroves.